Yeah, so we are uh, just over six months since the Data Plus Math acquisition closed. Um, and since then, we have been scaling out the team. Uh, LiveRamp has really believes in the Data Plus Math vision, and uh, they're funding us to go chase that vision, which is great. Uh, we just recently hired Jay Persaud, um, which I was thrilled. He was out there in the TV marketplace, and I've always had such great respect for him. Having Jay on the team just enables us to scale further faster. Data Plus Math started with an idea that TV was undercredited. And when you're not getting the credit you deserve, you become undervalued. And so what we set out to do was to apply larger data sets to the problem. We felt like the traditional ways of measuring TV's performance were really failing the industry. And that TV needed a way to leverage much bigger data sets in order to measure the true effects of TV. And so what we were building out was a kind of measurement at a different scale than that's traditionally used in TV, using set-top box data, using ACR data, using data from streaming platforms to, one, get a holistic view of all the consumption that's happening across all the different screens. Being part of LiveRamp enables us to do that better. Because if you think about the problem for the TV industry today, it's TV is fragmenting. More and more shows are being produced. So there's more and more choice. It's not like there's only a handful of networks anymore that are getting all the, all the reach. It's being spread. So you really need a good sense of identity, like an identity graph, like LiveRamp has, in order to stitch it all together, to kind of reassemble that reach, and reassemble that frequency, to be, a, to be able to measure TV's full breadth across all these different screens and platforms. So that's super exciting for us, is to integrate tightly with LiveRamp's identity graph. So that first step is, one, assembling all those exposures that are happening across all the different screens. Because if you're a marketer, you're buying uh, traditional television, but you're also buying the streaming platforms. You're buying Hulu, you're buying Roku, you're buying full episode players from the networks. That's all TV. So at a baseline, you need to stitch those exposures together and have a unified view, which Live Ramp's identity graph is positioned perfectly to do. Then if you take the next step, did those exposures drive marketing outcomes? you need a similar graph, right? You need to be able to take those exposures and match them up to business outcomes that the marketer is trying to drive. We use the, uh, the live ramp graph to do that as well. So we were able to, at a household, anonymously tie together all the exposures, then anonymously link it with website visits, car registrations, store visits, et cetera. Now, the buzz about TV attribution seems to be growing and growing and growing. Yes. Do you think attribution is going to be a feature in this year's debates about trading relationships, about the upfronts and so on and so forth? Yeah, material. yeah absolutely. It's going to be a material part of the upfronts. Um, you know, television is a huge industry. I think it's material for data plus math, material for live ramp. There's still other <laughs> really large ways that TV are going to be transacted. You know, kind of the traditional age sex demographics is still absolutely going to happen. Uh, a lot of the audience-based targeting that's been growing, data-driven linear, that's going to happen. But I also think business outcomes are going to be uh, factored into a lot of these discussions. And do you think that will actually start to impact the, the sum of money being invested by advertisers in the TV market when we start to understand the real value of TV? Yeah, this is it, a growth opportunity. It is a growth opportunity because the walled gardens, I think, are getting more than their fair share of credit because they do exactly this, right? They're happy to set up clean room environments for a marketer. They're happy to take first party data, put it into that clean room, match it against their exposures and show you, look how great we are at driving these outcomes for you. Imagine if TV had a similar technology partner to do that. You know, it's really what Data Plus Math, you know, now that we're part of LiveRamp, that we're trying to provide. Provide a safe environment, privacy compliant environment where marketers can put their data in, uh, TV programmers could put their exposure data in, and we can run that attribution analytics on top of it and look at how TV drove the lift. My co-founder and I, Matt, we've worked together for 20 years in advanced television. Uh, so uh, we were part of a company called Navic Networks, which was a pioneer in collecting data from set-top boxes. I like to say we were collecting set-top box data before it was cool. Um, we built that out with uh, most of the major cable operators at the time and wound up selling that to Microsoft back in 2008. Uh, we then started another company called Integral Reach. At uh, Integral Reach, we, uh, we built really the first data-driven linear platform. Um, we white-labeled it to some of the big programming families, and uh, through that we wound up, uh, 
we got acquired by Rovi. And uh, after Rovi, we started Data Plus Math. And what we saw as the next step in the evolution was, now the new larger data sets are being applied to television. How do we show that the juice is worth the squeeze? Right? You're doing all of this advanced targeting. You're using all these new data sets. How do we show that it matters and it's actually driving results? And you know, it turns out that good targeting does work. When you do a better job of targeting a buy, guess what? You get more results. More people go to your store. More people purchase the car. More people uh, visit your website. The explosion in content is fantastic. Yeah, there's more and more premium video out there to consume. You see all of the big programming groups launching their streaming platforms. This is a massive opportunity for TV to kind of rethink its measurement offering. I think if you're just holding on to yesterday's metric, if you're just holding on to ratings, that's a downward spiral. You need to start talking about really what you're truly doing. You're driving these business outcomes. You're delivering reach across these different screens, across these different platforms.